Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, June 29th. It's the third week after Pentecost and week six in our psalm cycle, and today is the feast day of Saints Peter and Paul. The scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 23 to 36, and John 21, verse 15 to 19. Now, please join me in singing verse uh, 4 of the part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. If sin lay covered in my heart, while prayer employed my tongue, then you had shown me no regard, nor I your praises sung. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned in the land of Ham. Hallelujah, Psalm 105. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned in the land of Ham. And you, O God, increased your people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies, whose hearts you turned to hate your people, to deal deceitfully with your servants. You sent Moses your servant, and Aaron whom you had chosen. They showed your signs among them, and wonders in the land of Ham. You set darkness and made it dark, but Egypt rebelled against your word. You turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their rulers. You spoke, and they came swarms of flies and gnats in all their coasts, and you gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. You struck their vines and their fig trees and broke the trees of their borders. You spoke, and locusts came, and caterpillars without number, who did eat up every blade of grass in their land, and devoured the fruit of their fields. And you struck all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their strength. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned in the land of Ham. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 21, beginning at verse 15. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. And he said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter felt hurt because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. And after this, he said to him, follow me. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. 
let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O Liberator and Savior, O God of hosts, may we never forget your mighty deeds and always seek your face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.